Hello my friends, it's Ra. welcome back. This is a video I was not planning to make. Let me tell you what happened. Today, there is a Hope for Prisoners graduation that Adam told me about last minute. He's like, I'd love for you to come with me. So that means I need to find something professional to wear while sporting this adorable baby bump that has grown tremendously over the past week. I decided to look through my closet, see what I have, because I really don't want to spend money on professional maternity clothes when I only have about two and a half to three months to go. Two and a half, please. So I figured it would be fun. I looked through my closet and I got a few dresses that I thought would be perfect for the event, but they fit me before the bump. We're gonna try them on together. It's kind of a vlog situation, kind of a trying on my pre-maternity clothes situation. I'm extremely bloated, extremely low energy, and I'm kind of a little bit not even cranky. I swear I do not get cranky at all this pregnancy, except for in the very beginning when my hormones were crazy first trimester. But I kind of got a little bit upset, disappointed this morning because every week I take bump update pictures and video that I want to compile together for a video to surprise Adam and you guys after baby comes. Problem being, I've taken them almost every single week. There were a couple weeks that I skipped where I just wasn't feeling well or was extremely tired. Those weeks weren't really that big of a deal because there wasn't that much change between like, you know, week 14 and 15, something like that. But the biggest change I've seen in my body and my bump so far has been between weeks 26 and 27. I just hit 27 yesterday. I was just deleting files off of my SD card so I could make this video. And there was one that was just blank and it was like 10 seconds long. It was just a gray video. I don't know what it was, probably my finger in front of the viewfinder or something. And I deleted the wrong one. I deleted my 26 week one and I really, really wanna recover that one. So I've been Googling how to recover lost files off of your SD card. Apparently it's doable. I have the program downloading and scanning my computer right now. It's going to take about two hours. So I figured I'd make this video in between because I have to dye my roots. I have to do my nails or go get a manicure really quick and then start getting myself ready for this event. Oh, in between. <laughs> working by the way. <laughs> so let's go into my closet. I already pulled some dresses. I'm going to pull a couple more things and we'll start a try on because why not? Let's hope this video doesn't go south and I don't get depressed. <laughs> start crying. I won't. I mean, it's not like I gained weight because I sat around and ate bonbons. I show my age when I say stuff like that. But later on and ate Doritos. I'm pregnant. I mean, I've been working out as much as I can. I've been eating as healthy as possible with a few treats here, here and there because that's life. I mean, that's pre-pregnancy. That's life, but especially pregnancy. That's where we're at. Let's do this because if your girl needs to get in the car and go find something cheap, then I'm gonna have to do that. Let's hope and pray that that is not the case. I know I'm gonna find something. I know I'll find something in my closet. I have a couple of pleated dresses. I have one that's gorgeous. It's an emerald green color, but there's another even bigger event next week that Adam is speaking at that I wanted to save that one for. So hopefully we can get away with saving that. Worst case scenario, I'll wear that one today because I know for a fact it'll fit. It's huge and it's pleated and it's long. Then I'll just have to find something else for next week. So without wasting any more time like I'm already doing, me and my babbling, babbling? <laughs> me and my babbling, let's get started. Excuse this disaster. We just got all of our stuff from the U-Haul box from New Jersey. So all of this stuff has to be reorganized. I have to find homes for it. I still have, I'm kind of proud of myself because I only have one more box left to go through. There were tons, so shameful. That is all makeup. That is all bikinis that are just gonna go into the garage or storage or something because I'm not gonna fit into them this year. And even if I fit into them under the bump, I don't really wanna tan my belly and dry out that skin on there. I'm trying to avoid stretch marks. These are all filled. There's just more clothes in the washing machine and dryer that I need to put in there. And then those are going in one of the spare closets. But right now we're just gonna go grab a couple of more things. Pull these. All right, let's get the party started. Okay, so we are gonna be trying on everything with shorts underneath it because first of all, I have to wear shorts under things now because my thighs are together, but also when I wear a dress and the belly is out and it does not have the support of either some sort of shorts or leggings, we run into the problem where my belly starts feeling really heavy. It'll ache for the rest of the night and sometimes into the next day. Okay, try this on first. 
because I knew it would be the least likely to work. I had to wiggle to get it up past my hips. And then I was like, even if I can somehow get this to work, that would be a disaster going to the bathroom. But from the front, I kind of think it looks cute. Problem being, there's no way in hell we're getting this thing to zip. So, fail number one. I feel like there are gonna be a few more of these. But it is a very, very cute pregnancy situation. I just wish it was a little bit, I wish it was stretchy and not this, there is no give to this material. This makes me want a pregnancy pantsuit though. Okay, let's go, camel toe. On to the next. So here's number two. This dress is to die for gorgeous from the front. The only problem is this is so not appropriate for the event. I can't wear a bra. It's see-through, which I could easily go out and get undergarments that are like a girdle that's, or even shorts that are my skin color. That's totally fine. The only other issue is that this isn't even coming close to zippering in the back. It's not stretchy material. That's okay. This was a gorgeous Fashion Nova find from back in the day. Even before I was pregnant, this fit me really tight. So I knew that this was gonna be a fail before I tried it on. I just wanted to give it a whirl. I could probably pose for pregnancy pictures in this, but it is not appropriate to wear the event, nor is it zipper zipperable. Zipperable. Give it up for a good old wrap dress when you're pregnant. This is really cute. Only issue is it's a little bit short because of the bump. And obviously I would have to work on the girls. So either I would have to pin this, boob tape it. I don't know if you guys can hear it in the background, but we just hung wind chimes out there. That, that took me three tries to say wind chimes. Ooh, they're going in the background. So this is cute, but I would either have to put something underneath here, pin it or tape it and it is kind of tight right here. So it's in the running. I'm also not a huge fan of my very, very, very swollen legs right now. If worse comes to worse, this isn't terrible. I would probably have to go out and buy some undergarments that are nude because you could probably see the black under here and that's not a look that I'm really going for. What do you think? Not the best, not terrible. I think we could do better but if push comes to shove, we can make this one work. Oh, this is the one that I wanted to work and I think it might be the winner. It's between this one and one other one. What's exciting is I bought this to wear to the prisoner family conference and I wound up wearing something else. So it still has the tags on it. I've never worn this before. I wanted to wear this because I think it looks the most professional and it's kind of a business setting. Number two, I've never worn it before. Number three, Adam, he's so cute. And sometimes he'll be like, what are you wearing? Oh, you're wearing pink? All right, let me try to match. And today he is wearing black, white, and gray. So I was really trying to go with something black, white, and or gray. So I think that this'll do it. I probably just need to put the shaper on and not the workout shorts because you could see the lines. But this is really cute. It still gives me a figure. You could see the bump. I can zipper it. I can't get it to go all the way right now. It's fine. It will zipper. I'm just home by myself and I'm afraid to get stuck in it. <laughs> so I will just put on a nice pair of black strappy heels probably and carry a black clutch. And I think we're going to call it a day with this, but we're going to keep trying on because, hey, you never know. There's one other dress that is a second runner up. It's stretchy a little bit too. I just don't know how stretchy. So this might be it, you guys. Oh, wait, you guys. I think I like this one even better. This dress has done me well. This is another sisterhood of the traveling dress. Every single one of my sisters has worn this. We're all different sizes. There's enough give that I actually can wear it with a bump. Only problem is whoever wore this last, I know which one you are. I'm not gonna blame you, but I know which one you are. The hem came out of bottom. So I'm gonna either have to hem that or get some hem tape until I can bring this. We found this amazing dry cleaner and they tailor Adam's stuff for so cheap, like $5 for a pair of pants where at home a tailor would be more than the dress cost. But I don't have time to do that. This event is later this afternoon. So I think this is gonna be the winner. I actually like this better than the other one because my chest kind of looked funny in the other one and the other one was much tighter. I think this material just has I don't know if it's more lycra or whatnot in here, but I do not have this zipped all the way up. It will zip all the way up. It's just, again, I'm home alone and I don't wanna get stuck in the dress because I don't have nobody that I can call to come help me get out of it. This one goes off the shoulder. What do you guys think? Do we like this one better or the black one better? I think I'm gonna go with this one. Also because black, white, and gray, and I feel like that'll match him perfectly. So I kind of am set on this one. <laughs> That's what I said about the last one, but I think this is gonna be the winner. Do you think off the shoulder? 
I don't know. And I have to wear the other shapewear. I'm still wearing shorts under here. So that's going to be a problem. I have to wear a different bra, but I think we're good. I have this one. It's all the way to the floor. Pleated. It's this gorgeous green color. This was the dress I was going to save for the event next week. I love it from the front. From the side, I feel kind of large. So I was thinking maybe belting it above the bump. One of two ways. Either I have a black and white snakeskin kind of like animal print belt with matching shoes or doing a bright blue belt. It's this color blue, very SJP situation with matching shoes, heels. I had this pulled tight because this dress used to be huge on me. So I lowered the straps a little bit too much. I don't know, what do you guys think? Do you like the more form-fitting ones, the more business ones, or do you like the flowier ones that are way easier for me to move around and help? What do you guys think? I'm not really the biggest fan of big flowy stuff pregnant, like with the belly this big. I just feel like I look like a house. But you tell me, do I look like a house? Which is your favorite so far? Oh, and there's the back. It's kind of a little racer back situation. I would have to wear a heel because it's very long. In the back, the front's pulled up just a teeny bit because the bump lifts everything up. What do you think? Eh? I feel like everything needs to be dry cleaned before I wear it and I can't, so there's also that situation. <laughs> This one's so funny. I wore this to visit once and I belted it because it was so dang big. <laughs> it is not dang big anymore. It is way, it's way too tight to even wear. I guess I could, not for today, it's not professional enough and these pockets are popping out. But what I could do is in the future, if I wanted to, I could belt, no, I couldn't belt this. It's, I'm just too big for this. This is not gonna work. Is it? Yeah, it's just not gonna work. If I belt it, it's too short. If I pull it, the pockets pop out. <laughs> the pockets pop out. Oh Lord. <laughs> oh no, this is a fail. No, it's cute. It was cute when it actually fit me, but it's too small. This is actually really cute. Oh, it is so staticky at the moment. So the skirt doesn't zipper all the way. It's just this much at the top. It used to be really, really tight on me there too when I didn't have a bump. That's not terrible. This is just a sports bra I threw on top just to see if I could make the skirt work. I would never wear it with this actually. It's not bad, is it? Not for today's event. I don't think it's dressy enough unless I could get, or I don't think it's professional enough. Unless I can get a shirt that works. I think this could look really cute with like a chambray shirt. Tied, ooh. Let's try that right now. I'll just show you guys. But I still don't think it's enough for today's event. I think today is a little bit more professional. But I really like this. I think this is really cute. Kind of looks like a maxi dress. It looks like a maxi dress. But it's just a skirt and a belt. And a sports bra. Hang on one second. Okay, here it is with the chambray tied over it. I literally took this out of a box from New Jersey. So it is definitely wrinkled. But I just wanted to see the look. It's cute. It's really, really cute. I feel enormous in it though. It's a cute idea for the future, but not for today. We need to look a little bit more professional for today. Although I don't think anyone would judge me. I mean, I have this enormous seven month belly. It's cute. It works. I don't know that you could see that it hides that I can't, I can't do that. So I would have to make sure that that's covered. I could even like put some tape there or a pin there or something if I were to wear this in, in real life, not just on this video. I don't know, what do you guys think? I, I look huge, <laughs> but it's cute. It's definitely cute. Okay, it's time to put on some workout clothes and just chill for a couple hours because it's a lot of work, you guys. It's a lot of work. Hi, Bubba. He's moving in there. Let me know what your favorite outfit was. I think until baby boy is born, where it's gonna be mostly workout clothes because I honestly don't wanna spend much more money on pregnancy clothes. They are so expensive. I don't really do much during the day. I have these two events, and then I don't know that I have anything in May or June, and July is go time. So, okay friends, we had a complete change of plans. Oops, hold on. Okay, we had a complete change of plans. Adam called me and he's like, it's not as formal as I thought it was. So here's what we're working with. I tried on a few other outfits, two jumpsuits. This one actually worked. It just had a little hole in it here and it stunk like dust because I just got everything back from boxes in New Jersey. So I washed this. The other jumpsuit was cute, but it was way too tight. And then what else did I try on? Oh, and then my backup outfit was gonna be jeans, a tank top and like a kimono. 
but I didn't know if that was fancy enough. It's kind of like somewhere in between. So we're going with this jumpsuit, which I think looks adorable. Showing the bump. I thought at first it was like too much here, but I pulled the straps up, put on a strapless bra. At first I was gonna do no bra, but it was kind of eh. And then we have these white and black heels by, who are they by? Isaac Mizrahi. I got them years and years and years ago on the clearance rack at DSW. Let's see how those look. I feel a little bit better with my legs covered because they are just so swollen today. And then I ate a lot of salt with my lunch. I made myself a tofu sandwich. It was not the best thing I've ever had. I don't know what made me think that that was a good idea. But let me just get these on. We'll show you the full outfit. Grab a black clutch or maybe my white bag. It doesn't really matter. And then I'm gonna head out the door. Can you see my feet? <laughs> This is from Target many years ago, in case you were wondering. It works. It works as maternity, because it's got this ruched, stretchy, stretchy back. So that's it for today's video. I have to head out. Maybe I could get some footage of the event. I'm not sure. If you guys want to see more videos like this, I could try on like jeans, even though it was a lot of work today. I am exhausted between work, washing everything, thinking I had an outfit, washing it, him calling me and telling me that it wasn't gonna work. So washing something else, that's on me, not on him. He could care less. Like he's not obsessive at all with how I look, but I am. So there is that. If you are not already subscribed, do me a favor and just give this, give, if you're not already subscribed, give this video a thumbs up. Is it time for me to pack it all in or what? If you're not already subscribed and you wanna join the family, we would love that. Just click the circle that pops up on the screen and if you don't see that, the red box. And if you don't see that, the red box below. To watch another video, click one of the ones that pop up on the screen now or you could just scroll back and watch anything on the channel if you don't see that. Give this video a thumbs up. It just helps me out so much in YouTube. I love you guys so much and I'll see you in the next one. Mwah.